Hi everybody, welcome back. Today is part 2 of my Would I Buy It Again series and today I will be talking about my LV bags. So I've actually selected 4 LV bags to talk about. I have a few more but I feel like those are, well not so suitable. That, that is my multicolor uh, Speedy in uh, 30 and that, that's like a limited edition discontinued one. I've got one more which is a Neo No Way, I'm, I'm looking at them. <laughs> so I decided not to put those in but I picked 4 I would say popular bags. I've got three with me right now and then the fourth one, um, I'll just put a picture because that's actually with my mother. So anyway, if you're new to this series, I'm going to share with you my thoughts about whether I would buy these bags again if I were to go back in time or, you know, or if they're lost and would I buy them again. So some of these bags, I have thought about it and I will actually buy them again. But there are a couple of them, I, I'm going to share with you why I may not buy the exact same bag again. So anyway, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kat. I normally do handbag luxury reviews, makeup, hauls, etc. Anything with luxury. I love luxury, okay? So <laughs> I hope you're enjoying my channel. And for everyone else, um, let's get started. Oh, by the way, I didn't put anything on my hair, so it's this is what it looks like after I had a shower, a little bit of blow drying, so it looks like a boy cut without any gel, without any styling, but you know, it is about 9 o'clock at night right now, so I'm not gonna like wash my hair before I sleep, so I mean, I've already washed my hair, so I don't wash my hair again, so I decided, yeah, okay, we'll just do this like helmet head. <laughs> Okay, anyway, let's start with the first bag. I'm going to talk about my Speedy B, uh, Speedy 25 uh, monogram, and this is my very first and most dearest LV bag. First LV item I bought, I'm trying to remember the day, and well, sorry, the date and the year, but I can't remember. I can kind of, I think it's either 2004 or 2006, so this is a pretty old bag, and it has seen better days. It's really, really in terrible condition. <laughs> like the handles need to be replaced and all, but you know what? It's okay. It's like a really, really vintage bag, but the canvas feels so good for this older bags. I, I love the feeling of this canvas. It feels substantial. Like it feels, it feels solid. So anyway, um, this is a very popular bag. It's a very classic bag. And if I were to buy this bag again, I would buy it still in the size 25 in monogram and I would but sorry but I would change it to become a bandolier so if you follow my channel for a while I love crossbody bags I I like having that option to put a strap so that I can keep my hands free I can sling it on my shoulder where it's a crossbody and for the size 25 it is okay on my body frame so I am 5 feet 4 or 160 465 centimeters so having it hang across my body looks okay as a crossbody bag or even as a shoulder bag so this is a pretty good size um, with the bandolier. So if I were to buy this bag again, I would actually take it with the bandolier. I want that option. I do like it as a top handle bag, but sometimes I carry a lot of things when I go to work and um, I've got my backpack, I've got my shoes and I've got lots of things. So I like having my hands a little bit more free. So if I were to buy this bag again, and I have actually considered getting a Speedy B25. It has been on my radar, not really wish list, but it's been on my radar that I would like to repurchase this bag because this is nice, but I think with the bandolier, it would be so much better. So that is my personal opinion. I like this bag. I like this size. Uh, I do know that the problem, it's not really a pro I don't, I don't find it as a problem, but one of the main concerns about the size 25 is the opening. And it is quite a narrow opening if you have bigger items. So I've got a pillow inside that I'm just taking that out. Yeah, so this opening is quite narrow. So when the bag is quite full, you can find it quite difficult to take things out like long wallets or you know if you've got like a water bottle or something that's like a book, you've got to place it this way and turn it to put it in. So I know that some people don't like that, but I don't really fill my bag up to the brim or I don't really have large items to put in my bag as well so this to me this opening doesn't really bother me but I can see how it can bother some people because 
it is quite narrow, right? It, it can't see everything. So if you got like large items, it is quite difficult to find. So you know, well, not this phone. This phone's not big enough. But yeah, if you've got a book or something, it will. You can't just take it out like that. You've got to kind of like maneuver it past the zip. So if that's a concern, then go with go with the thirty, uh, the size thirty, the size up. But personally, the size up for me, if I were to buy the size thirty. No, we're not talking about the 30, but if I were to buy the size 30, I would still pick the 30 just with the top handle. I don't like the way a 30 with the bandolier looks across my body. I find it too large. So my multicolor 30 is just a top handle bag. I don't use it so much for two reasons. I like to keep it pretty pristine and I also, um, yeah, I don't really use top handle bags that much. But if I were to use that 30, I would stick with the top handle only. So, But for this size 25, I think with the bandolier, it looks really good. So I would buy it again, just with a slight modification. Now to the second bag, I'm going to straight away talk about another popular bag, which is the Elma. And the one that I have, or I've kind of passed on to my mom, is the Elma Damien Ebin with, uh, in the size PM, so the medium size. So I bought that shortly after buying this and I personally really like the style of the Elma. It's very elegant, it's very classic and I passed it on to my mom mainly because it is a top handle bag and when I passed it to, on to her, I wasn't really reaching for the bag. Not because it doesn't hold much or other things. I had other bags to use um, and yeah, I, I just wasn't using the bag because it, it is a top handle bag and I, I wanted an option to sling it across my body, though I know you could, but it doesn't look so good because PM size. So um, if I had a chance to buy that bag again, I actually would buy buy the Elma PM again. It is very classic. I like how it looks. Like my mom's using it now, and it looks really elegant uh, on her, and she enjoys using top handle bags. At her age, which she's seventy. How old is my mom? <laughs> my mom is 72, I think, 72, 73, and she obviously will not carry a crossbody bag. I don't know, she doesn't look nice. No, no, no. Not at her age. She looks good carrying a handbag, tom handle, or crook on her elbow. So the PM size looks really good with her, and I can imagine those kind of bags looking better as we age. Not the bag, right? We age. So we we grow old together with the bag. So that's a bag that I really like. I love the red interior. And if I were to buy it again, I would actually stay with the same Abin, uh, as a Damier design, and also uh, an Abin. Because I think that it just looks good. It looks very classic. I like the dark, you know, that dark color on the handles and everything. Don't have to worry about um, this kind of patina, if you're worried about it. I'm not, I'm not really worried about it. But yeah. Um, I would consider buying it in the monogram, but I don't know. I like that. I like. I, I somehow like that checkered design on the Elma PM. So yes, I would definitely buy that particular bag again. If I had to, no modifications required. I think it looks beautiful as it is. The third bag is the Palm Springs mini backpack, and this is a very, very popular bag at the moment, and it has been for the past couple of years. Um, this bag is one of my most used casual bags. I, I use it so much. Like every weekend, this is the bag that I would use. Or now I've got the Joseph and Stacy uh, bag. So I swap between the two if I want to be a little bit more understated, no logos, then I'll pick the Joseph and Stacy, like kind of like a camera bag. Or I'll grab this if, you know, I just want to be like a bit more cute. So this bag has been to America with me, it's been traveling and I was quite concerned when I first bought this bag that it would lose its shape, especially this part, you know, when you pull it. I was afraid that this part would dip a lot or, you know, just lose its shape overall. But I've carried a lot of things in this bag and it has held up so well. Look at that. The only part is maybe not as puffy as the back, but that's okay because you don't see that. But the, the bottom is still in really great condition. And yeah, I, I, I think this bag is so cute so functional and it's definitely a talking piece. Every time I bring this bag out, people will turn their heads. They'll be like, oh, that's that's cute, that's cute. I mean, they always have, you know, take a double take at the bag because it is pretty outstanding. Like, right? if you carry it across your body, like, look at that, it's a little backpack. So the question, would I buy it again? And I'm going to be 
absolutely honest, I'm gonna say it's like a 50-50. Now, 50% why I will definitely run out and buy this bag, again, is because I love it. I, where I am right now, like, my casual outfits, you know, with the hair and everything, it just goes with my overall look. And I like, I like this talking piece. It really makes me very happy every time I use it. But the other 50%, uh, me trying to be more practical and more, you know, looking forward, meaning like um, maybe two or three years down the line or five years down the line, I think this bag is pretty novelty. It is something that I don't know if, as compared to let's say like the Speedy or the Alma, is this an everlasting bag? So because of that, I can't say it's 100%, I would definitely go and run out and buy it. I would 50% because I absolutely love this bag. I think it is a bag that is to be enjoyed now. It is to be enjoyed while the trend is in and as long as you can carry it off. I think that is how my 50% is and I do love this bag. But if I'm going to be honest and practical, this is not a bag that is a forever bag. I, I think it's a bag that you can pass on to your daughter or somebody who, like for me, I would pass it on to my niece. But it's not a bag that I think when I am in my, you know, older, more matured years, <laughs> I would be carrying. I would, I would want to be a little bit more elegant and wear bags that would suit my age. So I'm just yeah, I'm being very politically correct, okay? So so because of that, I'm going to give it a 50-50. 50% is a bag I would enjoy right now until the fashion dies or, you know, I'm just so sick of it. But the 50%, if I were to buy back again, that 50% would make me not buy this bag just because I want, um, nowadays, I prefer everlasting bags. I want classic bags. I want bags that could really, really stand the test of time. So that is my honest, honest opinion. All right, the final bag is this backpack, and this is my LV Bosco backpack. And I decided to put this discontinued bag on, uh, including in it in this video, is because in the pre-love market, uh, this is still a very sought after bag. And there are many pre-love ones. You can actually get some in really, really good condition, but you can also get some that isn't like really bad condition. My bag is in, I would say, clear to pristine because I only use this bag for travel. I don't bring this bag out for a daily basis. Like I don't have kids, so I don't really need to bring a lot of things. But you know, it's a really good mom bag because like it's got, ooh, wait, what's that? <laughs> it's got tissue. So uh, it's got loads of compartments. It's got bag, you know, it's got compartment here, and it's a very, very deep bag. So you can put a lot of things. I guess the only, um, I don't even like to use the word problem. The most fussy bit of the bag is this tie string part, which for me, I am getting, I, I'm, I'm used to it, right? I either tie it up, just singe it and tie it up, or I have that, you know, there's one, there's lots of videos on YouTube now where they teach you how to tie and just pull it, which is also very convenient. So that's the only fussy bit of it, but it is very classic. It's a very old school kind of like, you know, buckle in, tie it up. And I like that. It, it brings me back that, you know, brings back the old vibe. Uh, for this LV luggage. So I'm putting it in because I want to share with you whether I would buy this bag again, given, you know, if I had to go back in time. And this bag, I can tell you, I absolutely will buy it back again. It is such a, such a classic bag and every time I use it, I don't know, I just feel so, I, I don't know, I just feel so LV, like LV luggage. I've got LV luggage with me. Like, look at that. Okay, I should, I should singe it up first. Look, see? It looks really good, right? I, I really enjoy this bag so much and I have been traveling with it quite a bit. So I'm putting it in because I, if you guys are in the, on the lookout for this in the pre-love market, I think go for it. I love it. The only two things that I have to mention is this particular uh, fussy bit and then of course this strap, uh, it doesn't, how do you say, it doesn't fall exactly, it doesn't rest on my body, it kind of hangs a little bit like that, a little bit away, which is actually quite fine because like if you're walking a lot, it gives you a little bit of like gap for air. If it's like stuck to your body, um, it's hot, okay, so it, it, it drops a little bit, which I don't really mind, I, I quite like it, I quite like it like that. 
See? So anyway, if you guys are looking for this bag on the pre-love market, I think it's a really good buy because I love compartments. I like a lot of compartments here. And it's a great travel bag. In fact, you can use it for school or for work if you're, you know, if, if a backpack suits your work lifestyle. So I would definitely buy that bag again. And I, I just I don't know why did LV discontinue this bag. This bag is so classic in their collection. And I just had this little feeling they might bring back this bag or maybe some form of it because they do seem to be bringing back older designs, right? So if the backpack trend is still really hot and I think it's gonna be for a while because it's such a practical design, they might actually bring this bag back in some form or the other. Oh, I forgot to mention the other bit that may get a little bit like um, stained. Well, I mine's hardly okay just a little bit I rubbed it in my jeans but yeah this is another portion that may get stained so do look out for that if you're looking in the pre-love market for this bag so this bag I will definitely buy back again and in my collection I only have one backpack and I'm going to keep it that way so I know some of you have um, quote, like emailed me and all that looking for this backpack and if you watch my collaboration video with um, with Fashionably Amy, Amy from Fashionably Amy, uh, we spoke about five luxury items that we will buy in 2019. And one of the items that I will, or I really, really hope I'll get to buy is the Chanel backpack. So I have thought like, I don't know, I, I'm still considering, okay, I'm still considering. Like if that backpack, that Chanel backpack comes into my life, like next year it's, it pops out, because I want a very specific one. I want silver hardware, lambskin, and in chevron. Uh, not chevron, sorry, in the quilted design. So if that comes to me, I may. Okay, I, I haven't decided, but I'm just putting it out there. I may, I may sell this. I don't know. I seriously don't know. I, I love this bag so much that I think if I sell it, I may regret it. Like, I have this feeling <laughs> but anyway yeah that's I'm, I'm just putting out there because I don't know I'm trying to keep my collection more concise and I don't I think if I get the other backpack I may not be using this backpack and I'm already only using this backpack for travel so I rather somebody really love it to use it but I know that if I sell it I will never be able to get this in such in new condition because I bought this brand new from from the store and that was like the last item because they discontinued everything so anyway I'm, I'm rambling so that's the thought that I have but if you are if you guys are looking in the pre-love market look out for um, just a few things for this bag you know where the top handle is is it really like dirty black you know here well here not really but here at a bit at the bottom and yeah yeah mine's I love looking at it so I definitely recommend that and yeah, those are the items I'm going to be talking about in today's part two. I don't actually have that many LV bags. I have uh, one more which is a Parlemo, but that is already a discontinued bag, so I decided not to talk about it. Um, yeah, I have sold some of my other, like, uh, my other bags. So if you want me to talk about my my bag the bags that i've sold and whether i'll buy it back again let me know in the comments down below i can also talk about that because i do have a few bags that i've sold and you know i could answer that question as well so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed part two i will be filming part three shortly after this uh, and that will be my Hermes bags so i hope you guys enjoyed this video till my next one you guys take care